Hi everyone and welcome to the fourth section of our series. Now that we have learned various techniques to capture traffic and filter them as per our preference, we move on to the next step where we will see and how to analyze the captured traffic, setting timestamps and time zones. In this video we will understand the importance of timestamps and time zones and also we will see how we can use various different timestamps for analyzing traffic. I have discussed earlier timestamps come from the WinPCAP library which in turn gets them from the operating system kernel. Now the next question arises is how accurate is Wireshark timestamps? Now Wireshark doesn't create any timestamps itself but simply gets them from somewhere else and displays them. So the accuracy will depend upon the capturing system's operating system and its performance. Now let's go to Wireshark and see the various options for timestamps. We go to view option, time display format, and as you can see there is many options associated with time format. Each one will display a different value for us. So when we are troubleshooting scenarios like slowness, here's when options like seconds since the beginning of the capture, seconds since previous packet capture or the display capture. These options will help you where the slowness is and how much is the latency. Either it's in the request of a TCP communication or in the response. For example, we will go to one website. Now I have opened a simple website, HTTP. And we go to Wireshark now. Apply the HTTP display filter. The value of the time format here is been the second since the previous display packet. So this will help us to identify if there is any slowness in the HTTP traffic. So each and every packet is having a maximum of 0.5 seconds since the previous display packet. So I don't see any slowness, but when we are talking about slow, really slow networks, we can see the values of the time here would be very high, more than a second. So this is when you can identify whether there's an issue in the traffic or where is the slowness. Now let us discuss about the time zones. If you travel across the planet, time zones can be confusing. If you get a capture file from somewhere around the world, time zones can even be a lot more confusing. So the best solution for this is to correctly set up your computer's time zone to avoid any confusion. So based upon your operating system, you can browse to time settings and change your time zone. 